Hello everyone! Welcome to another video from Go Walks Portugal. If you are new to this channel, I welcome you. My name is Sara Cruz and in this channel I make available weekly videos about my beautiful country, Portugal. If this topic is of any interest to you, I invite you to subscribe to this channel and make part of this family that already has more than 300 people. I would like to take this chance, of course, to thank all of those who support me at this stage of my YouTube life. Today I will take you from my humble rooftop terrace in Coimbra all the way to Serra do Bussaco and Vila do Luso. These two points of interest stay about 30 minutes drive from Coimbra and I usually refer to this area as Coimbra's Sintra because whoever goes to Lisbon usually goes to Sintra and whoever comes to Coimbra supposedly would also go to Luso and Busaco but that's really not the case and that is why I've made available a half-day tour on my website GoWalksPortugal.com from Coimbra to Luzu and Busaco. But for now, let's do some virtual touring and I will take you there. Let's start with Luzu. When we arrive at Luzu, the luxurious green meshes with houses that look like palaces. There's a beautiful town garden with benches surrounding a big lake and right next to it we can find the Fábrica das Águas do Luso. For those who have already visited Portugal, this name is probably not entirely unknown. It is very usual to find a bottle of Luso water on any restaurant. It's here that this water is treated and packaged. A short walk from here, crossing the village while enjoying its beautiful architecture, we arrive at the famous Luzu Fountain. Here you may see people from nearby towns and cities filling their bottles of water, free of charge, myself included. We usually bring bottles of 5 liter or more and just fill them up. Let's say it is an ecological and economical way to consume this precious resource. Though you should be aware that this water has no treatment. Right next to the fountain stays the beautiful building of Tiramas do Luso, still operating today. There's also a place called Rosa Biscoito, where you may stop for a coffee or a sweet. Note that during the golden days of Luso, this place was in fact the location of the town's casino. Luzu is a village where you can breathe fresh air from the mountains. Its garden is the main access to the pedestrian paths that enter the national forest of Busaco. And for those who have time to walk the entire forest on foot, there are several dazzling places, starting with the Valley of the Ferns. This place is waiting to be discovered by you. The light that radiates between the leaves of the ferns gives it the sight of an enchanting tale. Around it there are centuries-old trees, which were planted here by the barefoot Carmelite friars, who protected this sacred desert until the 19th century. One of the most incredible constructions of their legacy is Font Fria, meaning cold fountain. 
the thousands of pebbles placed patiently by these religious men prove their devotion to this place and reveals their need to make organic buildings in communion with the nature around them. It is also on this spiritual path that they've built a Via Crucis. This is the only actual replica of the real one from Jerusalem. With a length of about 3 kilometers, the Via Sacra of Busaku consists of 20 steps, corresponding differently to the steps of the prison and the steps of the Passion of Christ. If you walk through here, you will find a relic forest. And also a few houses where you can stay overnight. This path of reflection takes us to the highest point of Serra do Busaco, Cruz Alta. Raised to 549 meters or 1801 feet, the landscape and the view will leave you breathless. On clear days, we can see the ocean from here, most of the nearby towns and cities, and several mountains on the horizon. Whoa, do you think this is enough reason to convince you coming here? I'll give you some more. Somewhere inside the forest, there is an actual palace. The Busaku Palace was attached to the convent of the Barefoot Carmelites in the last quarter of the 19th century. Designed by the famous Italian architect Luigi Manini, it served as a hunting lodge for the kings. Walking through its gardens almost transports us in time. This palace was built in the image of the Boulain Tower and the Jeronimus Monastery of Lisbon. If you have already visited these, you may be able to find some similarities. Obvious mention to the references of the Portuguese discoveries, depicted all around its tiles referencing this particular chapter of Portuguese history. Nowadays there is a five-star hotel installed here, regarded as one of the most beautiful and historic hotels in the world. If this wasn't enough, there's still more to learn about Busaku. I'd like to request the special attention of all the Brits for this one, and non-Brits too. At the entrance to the convent we can find a centenary olive tree. We call it Oliveira de Wellington, because it was here in 1810 that the Duke of Wellington would spend the night during the French invasions period. It is said that Wellington, after visiting his troops, arrived around 5 p.m. and tied his horse to this tree. The Battle of Busaco, which was decisive for the recognition of Portugal as a nationality, took place very near to this sacred site on September 27th of 1810. Thanks to the long alliance that Portugal had with England, which dates from the 14th century with the marriage between King Dom João I of Portugal and Filipa of Lancaster. The Luso-British army managed to put an end to such devastation and end the war period that reigned. Now 
Nowadays, the memories of this event are still maintained by such constructions as a preserved mill, the military museum still opens to public, and an obelisk. So after seeing these images and learning a little bit about this site, let me know what you think of Busaku. This place is currently a candidate for World Heritage, a classification that could be attributed by UNESCO in the coming years. So don't forget to put it in your travel bucket list while this is still our little secret. I will be here with open arms to welcome you, ready to walk through Busaku and Luzu in your company. I will see you very soon. Bye!